boys and girls, it's Miss Beth, and today is story time day. Woo, woo, woo. You know this is a day I love because I get to share great stories with you. All right, today's great story is a nonfiction book, and it's about plants we eat. And it's called Plants Feed Me by Lizzie Rockwell, and the publisher is Holiday House, New York. So, Plants Feed Me. This is an interesting book. I was reading it earlier and I thought, ooh, this would be a really good one to share with my favorite kids out there. All right, Plants Feed Me. Let's learn a little something about what we eat. I am a plant eater. I'm a plant eater too. Maybe you're a plant eater. I'm thinking you might be. Plants reach up for the sun. They grow down in the ground. I eat different parts from different plants. Sometimes I eat the leaves, like on Swiss chard, lettuce, cabbage, and spinach. That's where you eat the leaves. And sometimes I eat the roots and tubers, like carrots and beets and potatoes and radish and parsnips. Roots get water and food from earth. I eat the bulbs, I eat the stems and flowers too. So when you eat the bulbs, you eat the bulb of an onion and some of the, of the leaves of an onion sometimes. And for asparagus, you eat the flower buds. And for the broccoli, you eat the flowers. So sometimes you eat the roots and sometimes you eat the flowers and bulbs. Hmm. I eat fruits. Some grow on trees. First flowers bloom, then come the fruits. Fruits have seeds. A seed can grow a new plant. So the flowers turn into the fruit, and then we eat the fruit, and the seeds can be replanted and grow a new tree. Blueberries are fruits, they grow on a bush. And melons are fruits, they grow on a vine. So here's blueberries and they grow on a bush. And here is, is a cantaloupe or a melon. And it grows on vines. And they grow, the vines grow really long. And here, here is where the melon is gonna grow. The flower makes the fruit. hang from the tomato plant. Pumpkins, peppers, and eggplants are fruits too. In some plants, the seed is the best part to eat. Peas are seeds. They grow inside pods. Beans do too. These are string beans, cranberry beans, and then some dried beans. So here is the pea and it grows inside the pod. You crack the pod open and inside are the peas. Same with the green beans. But sometimes, like with the green bean, the seeds are inside, but I like the whole actual green bean. Most, a lot of people like the pods of the peas too. You can eat the whole thing. It's no problem and tastes delicious. But if you'd rather pick the peas out of the pod, that works too. I eat seeds from rice plants. I eat seeds from wheat plants. Wheat seeds make flour. Flour is used to make bread, 
and lots more. Walnuts are seeds. They fall from tall trees. Here's the fruit, then the fruit opens, and a walnut is in its shell. You crack the shell open, and then you find the walnut. But never, ever, ever eat anything if your mommy or daddy doesn't say it's okay. Okay, if you find something that looks like this, don't ever eat it without asking an adult first, okay? That has to be the deal. Because some things may not be what you think they are. You do not want to get sick. I eat seeds and I eat leaves. I eat flowers, bulbs, and stems. I eat roots and fruits. Plants feed me. Oh, I liked that one. That one made me actually hungry though. Now I feel like I have to go eat some seeds and some fruits and some roots because they are good for me and they're healthy and they're a lovely snack. I am Miss Beth and I hope you learned a little something today through our Plant Feed Me book. I hope you have an absolutely fantastical day and I cannot wait to share stories with you next time.